match in a row have come from behind to force extra time. Liam, here's the goal. Yeah, uh, Rakitic, good ball over to Vesalco. Tremendous cross in. England guilty of ball watching. Um, Walker and Trippier not really aware of what's happening where Perez is. She is. Walker maybe should be watching that ball uh, and watching the man, but he doesn't see him coming, and Perisic does very well. Um, element of dangerous play, but the referee's never going to disallow that because Walker's head is down, and uh, it's a great finish. And Perisic very nearly won the game for Croatia a few minutes after that when he hit the post. England did what Eamon feared they might. They dropped back and... Uh, decided to defend their box and the physicality of Croatia got them out of jail with that equaliser and they were the better team in that second half with Modric pulling the strings in midfield. Who do you fancy now, Eamon? Uh, I don't know, Dara. I think what the Croats did in the second half was magnificent. I didn't think they had it in them, but it is really England were in control and they took their foot off the pedal in a serious way. This is the first time in the tournament they've been asked a, a real question. Uh, it's not the first time Croatia have been asked a question. Um, and it's a very big test for England. Um, Croatia dominated the second half to such an extent that they, you would almost say they deserve to win. And England have been weak in their response. A bit nervy as well, England, you know, yeah. at the back. Stones and Walker guilty of uh, holding on to the ball, losing it in bad areas. Uh, but, you know, they, uh, they've had a team talk now, or a little team talk. They need to gather themselves together and go again. Uh, they did it in Col <clears throat> against Colombia in the second period of extra time. They came on strong. First period, they were on the ropes a bit. They must Dam get out of their box. Yeah, Damien, how do you see this panning out now? Uh, Croatia have all the momentum, the energy, the legs, the creativity. Uh, you would think it's England that had two games on the bounce with 120 minutes. The first time they've had a fry. It's the first time they've looked nervous in the tournaments because they're, they were 45 minutes from a World Cup final. So it's interesting, can they, can they step up to it now? Because it's the fir their first real, real test as we've touched on.